Funding for this program is brought to you by PBS, the Phoenix Children's Hospital, and Tobacco. For safety reasons, we strongly urge those who are pregnant to refrain from viewing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm medical professional, Dr. Hyena. What we're about to talk about tonight is a serious matter. When I got into this, I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. Nicholas is a patient of mine. What he has is Crozical Syndrome. Most of you probably don't know what Crozical Syndrome is, so I'm going to explain it to you. As you can see here, the virus attacks the brain. This causes his arms to lock. We call this arm locking. As you can see here, his intelligence and ability to think decreases, which causes his outbursts. <coughs> hey Nick, you ready for another good day? <coughs> hey, what's wrong with you? Oh, Nick! Increase in strength, his forearms decrease in strength, causing the arm locking problem to become worse. This is a serious problem for Nicholas. Next, I'd like to talk to you about how Nicholas spends his time. We have it documented here. Ten hours are spent playing, nine hours eating and sleeping, 4.9 hours in the bathroom, and only 0.1 thinking. Alright Nick, come on, let's get on the bed. Let's go, come on. There you go. Alright. Let's do those sit-ups like I showed you. Come on. Gotta get on your back. Let's do those sit-ups. Come on, Nick. Come on. Almost there. <laughs> there you go. All right, get those legs up. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Nick. Now lift one. Next, I would like to discuss with you Nicholas's diet. Here you can see that 40% of his intake is pills. 30 is fats, saturated fats to be more specific, 20% is sugars, and 0.5% is greens. Nicholas's diet can clearly be improved. You might be wondering how we can combat Crozical Syndrome. This is the answer. Pills. Nicholas takes three different kinds of pills. As you can see, this can be very hard for him. We'd like to conclude tonight by asking for your help. What we need are donations. <coughs> Excuse me. 
You can donate by calling the 1-800 number at the bottom of your screen. All of our thoughts and prayers will be with Nicholas, and I hope that you can make a difference in his life. Thank you.